Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy fourteen. Welcome back to yours here. Here we are, this time, Scholar Quests. I know, you're thinking, what the fuck? Well, first white mage, now Scholar? What, what's up with him? Is he is he going to the caster ways? No, I don't like casters. Still don't like casters. Fuck casters. Casters are the worst. I don't like them. But I do like Scholar. Scholar's actually uh, has become, so far, my favorite heal. Uh, I really, really, really like Scholar, okay? Really in Scholar. Uh, also, this guy has the same last name as me. Crazy, right? Crazy. How could that possibly be? Law, law reasons. He's my adopted uncle. All right, that's how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna RP this a little bit, okay? The vanishing act. Let's do this, nephew. You should have arrived. That you should arrive at this very moment, this very instant. It's as it's as though the gods themselves have sent you. Not a quarter bell ago, I received a massive, massive, a, a missive. That's right. From Suto Cartelio. That's right. I know it's not his name pronounced, but I can't pronounce those damn names. Those damn Tomberian names. An emergency has arisen at the Wanderer's Palace. And he has requested, and he has requested, our immediate presence. Okay. But the exact nature of his troubles remains unclear. We can, we can scarce ignore his call. He awaits us in the usual place. My friend, we haven't a moment to waste. Off he runs. Off he runs, and off we run as well. We must, off we run. Actually, you know what? We can teleport. Let's teleport. Let's teleport to the Wanderer's Palace. Where's the Wanderer's Palace? Around Camp Bronze Lake, right? Let's do that. What the fuck is with that snowman? Does he got like a, like a tumorous neck? Why is his arm so low down? I'm not sure what's going on there, but with that snowman. Uh, all right, here we go. Here we are. Let us let us cloud up. That's right. Okay. So these videos are going out in roughly the like the weird spot between Christmas and New Year's Eve. So, or maybe. One's airing just before Christmas. I'm not entirely sure, but hopefully these will satiate you over the Christmas holidays. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic Christmas holiday, by the way, if you're watching this at the time of it happening. If you are watching it later in 2018, maybe 2019, maybe you're watching it in 2020. What the hell do I know? But maybe that's when you're watching it. If you are watching it then, I hope you had a nice holiday. Past holidays. That's great. Uh, okay, how's this guy talk? Um, it's okay. Thank you both for responding so swiftly to my summons. Forgive my... Forgive my... Bescuousness? What the fuck? But I believe it's best if we cut straight to business. I presume the both of you remember the invisible void scent was defeated not long ago. Uh... Yes? Yes, at the at the at the baths over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of remember that. Sure. Gonna be honest. Don't really remember anything about the scholar quest other than then these Tomberries. Spoiler alert. Used to be, uh, Lala's. Or just um. They just used to be like a part of man race. The you know the the human race until they were changed. Not here's just the man thing. You know the humans. Uh, anyway, we we could sacrifice. Well, wait. How how did he talk? I've already forgotten his voice. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Uh, we could scarce forgot service a sort of vile creature. Well, you'd be pleased to hear that I have finished studying its remains, and I believe a cure may be within my grasp. Oh my God, really? But, uh, but mayhap cure is a slight exaggeration. I speak will only halt of spread of the sickness. Oh, I see. So you won't get people sick, I guess? Or something like that? Not reverse the effects of it, it has on our bodies. You are far too modest, man. Truly. What, what you speak of is incredible. A miracle, even. Uh, alas... It's not fucking good enough, is it? I don't want to be a fucking Tomberry anymore. 
I've got this fucking knife sellotaped to my damn hand. I'm terribly wounded. That's right, every time I scratch my head, I fucking stab myself. That's why I would ask that you, my two most trusted associates, locate and escort Seto Kaiba back from the Wanderer's Palace before it's too late. Of course we'll do it. We've hardly ignored the pleas of one of Nim's foremost scholars. Strife. Oh, sorry. Damn it. I fucked it up. We're meant to be RPing this. Nephew. I have an idea of where you where we can start. Let us check the guard, the grand companies, to see if a bounty has been placed on Seto Kaiba's head. Sure. Bounty. Uh, let's hope it has not yet come to that. The Maelstorm Command in Limsa. They should be able to ask the Hunt Billmaster if any Tomberries have recently been resigned, registered. Okay, so we're going back to the Maelstrom. Going to the Maelstrom. I'll be right back, friend Tombelly. Don't you worry, scholar friend. Right, now did he... Is This is the scholar friend, right? This is the guy who's like the first scholar. But is this... Did he create Eos? Or did he just summon Eos? I am kind of confused whether or not it's... If they if it learned how to summon the fairies or if it created them. I'm not sure I'm on my lore on that part. I do know, however, that they did used to be Lalafells. Or that one used to be a Lalafell, I believe. And... Their city, the city of Nim... Uh, was destroyed um, by the Wajimajig. Ozma. My, his name completely is banished from my brain for a minute there. Uh, yeah, so Ozma in the Weeping City, on top of the castle, the uh, the big orb, you know, the one from Final Fantasy IX? Uh, if you, when you use his black hole and you get sucked inside, you can see the remnants of, of Nim inside there. It's all scattered about because it's all fucked up. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. You know what we should do? An Aether Flow. That's right. Why? I don't know. Just so we got max Aether Flows, I guess. Yo, Billmaster. How's it going, my dude? Any Tom Berry's been put up on the board recently? Good morning to you, sir. How may I be of be service? Uh, we're looking to say, uh, slay a Tomberry. A Tomberry, eh? Oh, wait, how, so I'm fucking, fucking up his voice already. A Tomberry, eh? We currently have one, only one Tomberry marked for the hunt. By the name of Marbury. Marbury. If I recall correctly, he was marked for the hunt even before Seto Kaiba disappeared. The possibility of there being any mix-up between the two is slim. It seems we must continue our search elsewhere. Uh, Lieutenant Zelka. And, uh, Lieutenant Zelka. Why are you both Lieutenant Zelkas? That's confusing, isn't it? Um, oh no, it's Lieutenant Zelka and Akia. You're not actually a lieutenant. Huh. Uh, anyway. I wasn't aware the two of you knew each other. Uh... Yes, he's my nephew, actually. Well, ad adopted nephew, of course. He's a, he's a Makote, and I'm a Lala. That doesn't make sense. Um, anyway, good to see you again. I think I may have forgotten to say it the other day, but I greatly appreciated your help with my training. You, you know I'm always happy to help. Uh, I don't suppose you've come all this way to thank me. However, what brings the two of you here? We're searching for an escaped Tomberry, and the thought of it might have been marked for the hunt. A Tomberry, you say? Hmm. While I can't promise this is in any way related, a few days back a disturbance broke out in Vespa Bay. There was duelists playing for keeps, you see. That's right. They discovered a stowaway hiding in one of the fairies. It was Seto Kaiba, and he summoned a blue-eyes white dragon. Indeed. 
witness says, is a small green blue limp from between the crates and dashed out of sight as soon as the ship pulled into port. Whilst of a similar size and build to a Lullabelle or, uh, or Quinin, the, they claim it looked far too alien to be either. Hmm. Thank you, R Rashad. It sounds like you may have just given us our first lead. Nephew, after me, we make for Vespa Bay with all haste. I. Bye. See you, Zolka. <laughs> what the fuck? Zolka, you're not gonna give me any 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 dues? Vespa Bay. Let's just teleport to Vespa Bay, shall we? Let's not. Let's not fudge around. How do I get to Vespa Bay? How do I do it? It can't be done. There. Is this Vispa Bay? Did I fuck it up? No, this is Vispa Bay. Lower than also. We got it. We got it. Don't worry. Don't worry. No, oh, I fucked it. <laughs> oh, no. The fuck is Vespa Bay? There? Oh, no. It's fucking the other side, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Alright. Alright. I fucked up. I fucked it. I fucked it. Okay, I fucked it. I'm sorry. It's Horizon. I got confused. Just got a little bit confused. I wasted a little bit of gill, and I'm more upset about that than me getting confused. Okay? I wasted at least 120 gill moving from that location to here. And now I gotta go like it's fucking back in 2.0. I gotta get my, get my mount up, and we gotta... We gotta go all the way over to uh to the to the waking sounds. Oh, I forget. This is so long ago. The waking sounds. This is, that's right. It was the waking sounds. What is it now? Holy shit! We've not been back there in ages, have we? No, I think about it. We've not been there since like the start of Stormblood. Wow. We've not been to the Rising Stones in, like, forever. Wow, okay. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Anyway, here we are, in Vispa Bay. Hello. Oh, good. For a moment, I thought I'd lost you. Yeah, I, well, I teleported to the wrong place. Let us begin my, by questioning the men here. He appears to be one of the men from the fairy Rushant told us about. You asking if I saw the store stowaway? away? Aye, you bet I did. Now, it wasn't just any stowaway. It boarded our ship. Nay, I suspect was one of them odd, one of those elf fellas. A gob. That's right. Without his mask. Either that or it was a rare bastard. Yeah. Can't find around these here parts. Not that that matters, mind you. Whatever it was, the brass blades are after it. Best sure they'll catch it. Uh, indeed, thank you for all your help, sir. Aye, bye, peace out. Hmm. If an organization that large has yet to find a stowaway, we have little chance of succeeding in such an endeavor ourselves. Rather than blindly rushing about at our time, Rushing about our time would be better spent gathering the information we can regarding this incident. I shall, I shall go and speak with my acquaintances in the or in order. In the meantime, I ask that you return to Surito Kamo and inform him of what we have learned. Can do, sir. Man, that was just a whole bunch of teleporting, wasn't it? There's no action. Where am I going? I'm going to Camp Spron Lake. I'm the worst with a teleport list, don't worry. I am the worst. Alright, that's fine. It's totally fine. It's 7.26am, Eorzean time. Will he still be awake? Do Tomberries stay awake this early? We just don't know. 
We just do not know. But I'm assuming that he will be there, because why? where else would he be? He is an NPC, therefore he is caked in cement, holding him in place for all eternity. Which is sad, but it's just the way things are, I'm afraid. Hello, here I am. How you doing, Carito? This is what I learned. Hmm, Stay, if you... I can only hope for your swift return means that you have come bearing good news. Uh, not quite, but we did find a uh, kind of a thing about Sokai. Him. He crossed the sea? Hmm. And is likely now in Fanland, you say. What could possibly have spurred our friend to do such a thing? Oh, here he comes. Kurito. Forgive me, my tardiness. I made small detail to Uldar to speak with my associates. Unfortunately, they could not tell me nothing aside from the fact that the brass blades looking into the stowaway might be who the stowaway might be. I have nevertheless asked that they keep an ear to the ground and report to me should they learn anything. Thank you, Akin Zulka. <sighs> if, as you suspect, our friend has fled to the vast continent of Alnard, there is a little sense in conducing any more searches. Judging by the Blast Bay's inability to find their quarry, I don't know, Brass Blades always get their mark when it's least convenient for you, let me tell you. We should have no need to worry about the hunt or any or any other Inquisition capturing Seto Kaiba for now. Our best option is to wait until we know more. I am inclined to agree. Should I come across any new information, I will send word to you right away. Bye, nephew. Bye, dude. There is a good chance this search will turn into something of a long-term effort, Strife. I suggest you go at rest while you can. Alright. The Vanishing Act. Completed. Next podcast will be available at level 63. From this man, the requirements for taking some quest has been received in your journal, and we'll do that next time. Oh shit, that was actually a pretty good length. I wish they, I hope they are all at length. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, leave a like and a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.